So this is a new mini projector that I got so we can watch movies outside. It is, it has a battery on it, so it doesn't necessarily need to be plugged in, although I believe it can be plugged in. I'm gonna be unboxing this today and showing you what a budget projector that supposedly meets all your needs is gonna perform like. So this is, it's a, I believe it's a Chinese brand. I found it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, it looks like it's called Lizo Wood or Lizo Wood, something like that. Uh, and so, yeah, so here's the unboxing video and I'll show the performance of the projector to you. So I mentioned that it's like a Lizo Wood or Lizo Wood. Let's get the focus on that. There we go. Native projector, mini projector. So let's open this up, see what we get inside the box. Okay, so is this the battery or this? No, nope, it looks like this is the projector itself. Okay. There we go. So there, Liza Wad, maybe is the brand. One day I'll find out how to do that. Okay, so here's the projector. It's really small. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but not significant. You could throw this in your backpack. You wouldn't really notice. We have a headphone jack, a HDMI cable, two USB ports, and then the direct charge. There's our control buttons on top, power charge, our lens. This is what the bottom looks like. So these contacts here should be for the battery. So let's see, it has the option to be battery powered. So this is the battery. It does say recommended for best battery life to charge the battery fully before first use. So there's the battery. So USB-C charger maybe? Well, there's also a USB on there too, but I think the, D, the, the USB-C is the, is the charger. So, that's under that, so. Let's see what we have. Most cost efficient, high resolution LED projector. Well, we'll find out when we test the performance. Okay, so there's my direct power supply. I said direct charge earlier, but that's my power supply, right? So presumably you can run the projector without the need for the battery. Here is, uh, that's a HDMI cable. And there's my remote. Control. Okay, so that's all that's in the box. Right, the box is empty. So I've got my user manual, my remote control, HDMI cable, a power supply, the projector, and the battery itself. Okay, so I'm going to do my best here to flip through the manual to show you a little bit about what is on there. So. As long as you speak English in Japan, you're gonna be okay with the instructions. So obviously explaining the controls um, and the inputs. So there's a battery tab, swipe left to disassemble the battery. Okay, so let's presumably take the battery off once we connect it. Um, and then, so, and we, we connect it and then we charge the battery through the main power supply. Okay. So something else that I saw interesting. So you can mirror cast from your PC, from your phone, which is here. And um, anything else which was significantly of interest in here. So you got your setup, right? Although it's pretty straightforward. There is something on the bottom. There we go. Ceiling mountable hold on the bottom of the, the system. And then we flip over to Chinese, which is not my strong point. So I'm gonna move away, right in the middle there. That's your ceiling mountable hole for your projector. Okay, so next I'm gonna be charging this and, um, and then we'll get ready to go. So this battery clips on real simple. That's it, it's on.
little switch up there to release. I say really gentle. There you go, that's all of it. So you can charge this right here. One handed. So I left the machine to charge, thinking, hey, it'll be plugged into the mains, we'll charge the battery. It did not. So I've got to find a USB C charger. So let's just run it on the power. So I am out of focus there. So on here on the, the battery is this, these focus buttons. So may be bringing this into focus. Oh uh, yeah, this is getting better. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so I can put in my Apple TV or my Fire Stick in here. Uh, just scanning through on the, the remote, that's all I'm doing, exploring here. So I go to my settings. Yeah, let's go down to settings and see if I can get onto uh, Wi Fi. I don't even know who has Wi Fi. Yes, it does. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to log into my Wi Fi. Okay, so I finished the Wi Fi uh, setup. I'm not going to show it because it shows all my details, but um, it was really easy to type in and it does give you the ability to toggle between hiding the password and showing the password on the screen. Uh, Bluetooth, so going into Bluetooth, I get, you can turn Bluetooth off and on. Uh, and then if I search Bluetooth, it's going to bring up any devices that I can uh, use to throw the uh, picture from a device to this projector. So. Uh, it's not the quickest in the world, but functionality is there we go. So I've got a basement TV, got a Samsung, the frame TV that I could use. All right, so that's that um, system settings, uh, some multi screen there, software updates, sleep timer, picture settings, We've got projection mode, normal back front invert. If I mounting my projector upside down or anything like that color range aspect ratio cool well i'm pretty happy about that setup so what i'm going to do next is put in a media stick and um see how we can see how good this is at uh throwing a movie onto my onto my basement wall here okay so i have plugged in my apple tv into uh the projector uh, so we're going to go through the stages of setting that up and see how simple straightforward or difficult it might be. Okay, so we're on the wall. The first thing that came up is, are you sure you want to change HDMI? Well, it's not, I think it means change to HDMI because there is only one. So yes, I do. This is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. So we're exploring. Okay, changing the HDMI. Hopefully, there we go. There's the Apple TV. One of my kids is probably watching YouTube somewhere. So, uh, Let's go into YouTube. I'm watching YouTube. Yeah, no watching YouTube. So, uh, so I don't know. Let's uh, shock Simon Cow. Anyway, uh, skip the survey. My name is DeCorey Johnson. So, DeCorey, how the old are you? I'm 11. And where are you from? Yeah, I'm, I'm from gonna Wooden turn the volume down. What is your talent so i'm a singer oh is that what you want so to do there we go yes i want to be on broadway and be in so it's on and this I'm is the sound Hamilton and you can oh, hear wow. coming out of the Did projector speaker and this is not dark in here right so my my window's a little light in this is the picture on the wall honestly i'm pretty happy with that what i'm going to do now is turn the light on and see how much that changes the picture Okay, so my spotlights came on. There we go, it's projected. I'm pretty close right now. What I really need is an extension lead to take this projector back. But hey, I can see it. Got my picture, I can hear it. I'm pretty happy with this. So tonight we're gonna to take it outside for a movie, project it on, on my outside wall. And uh, we'll see where we go.
Okay, thanks to everyone for staying with me. Look, if you like this, I put the link to this model into my, um, I put the link to the model in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please like the video. If you wanna see some more, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. So I moved the projector onto this wall, uh, make it a little bigger just from where I've got plugged in, right? I never need an extension cord. The kids are loving it. I did have one problem and it took me like just a couple of minutes to figure out the pro how to solve it. When I twisted it, it stopped. Uh, it still was still playing a movie, but it wasn't playing any sound. Uh, so what I did identify was the HDMI cable that came in the box was not the greatest quality. So I actually bought a, I, I took a HDMI cable off my TV over here that I use and had temporarily put that on my projector. I could tell straight away a much better fit into the projector. So projector's working great. Has a poor quality HDMI cable inside it. So, uh, but most of us have some of them floating around. So right now, looks like it's working pretty well. Okay, here's the projector set up outside. I have it sitting up here on my on my staff of my ladder and there it is on the side of my barn uh, one negative i did find or i haven't figured out maybe a solution yet is it has to be perfectly perpendicular so there's no adjustment if, if you're projecting up or if you're projecting down um, which is a little frustrating but this is the sound coming out of the projector built-in speaker